So if you're a little weary about these laser measures, I was for a long time, did never trust them. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot a, let's just see kind of around how long this is. About a 30 foot span here. Just a quick note while we're seeing it here. The reason I'm going about three, four inches above the floor is because that's where the corner bead mud starts. And if you don't do that, your piece will come out long. Okay, so we got 29 feet, eight inches and 15 sixteenths. So I'll go ahead and cut two pieces that splice together at that measurement and we'll see how close it is. All right, got my pieces cut here. Go ahead and do my splice, glue that together. And we'll see what our result is. Okay, I've got my corner cut, so. I normally edit stuff like this out, but I just wanted to show you guys that I didn't go and recut and cheat or anything. This is a one-time measurement, one-time cut deal. So we're just throwing it on the wall now. Okay, I've got a little problem with the uh, sheetrock here, so let me just get my sheetrock corrector out. The metal on this corner flared out quite a bit, so it wouldn't make a very nice corner once everything was together, so that's why I'm doing this. Let's see. Well, yeah. Once that's nailed on and this corner's glued, there ain't no problem with that. Especially over a 30 foot cut, pre-assembled. Doesn't get any better than that. Of course, the boss has to show up and uh, give me a hard time. All right, and those are the results of the Bosch GLM50C uh, with a 30-foot splice piece of base. Uh, overall, this uh, laser has been extremely accurate. We do have all three models. Um, I have yet to do an accuracy test because I use this one the most, but I can do that as well. I'll be coming out with some additional videos on how I measure my casing only using this Bosch laser. Um, I'll also be coming out with uh, how I do my base outside corners, including a double minder round and chamfer corners. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.